Something that all of us can benefit from, the Bangalore police has succeeded in breaking up a rather lucrative crime, hacking into people's bank accounts and transferring money from them. The main accused would visit cyber cafes at the beginning of the month at a time when people tend to check their salary accounts and then figure out what their names and their passwords are. Twelve people have been arrested. Carl Braganza, a puzzled HR manager in Bangalore, discovered in November that somebody had hacked into his Citibank account and transferred 40,000 rupees out of it to a Mumbai account. There was more. The same bank account and also his credit card had been used to recharge mobile phones across Karnataka. The offender was traced to Anu Cyber Cafe and one person in particular was closely watched. Joseph, a 27-year-old diploma holder in computer science. Now, as per Joseph's version, one particular day he had gone to the cyber cafe to just update his technical skills when he noticed that an individual had uh, failed to log out after checking his account. So when he opened the account and then tried to access it, he found that he couldn't succeed. This set him thinking. So finally, after a, a, a considerable amount of research on the net, he found that a software was available which could capture all the strokes. This is called a keylogger software. He successfully managed to install this keylogger software in a couple of uh, computers in some cyber cafes in Bangalore and one cyber cafe in Mysore. With this uh, keylogger software, he managed to capture passwords and ID numbers of several people who had visited the cyber cafe. Joseph had a list of over 100 bank account numbers and passwords of other people who were most likely his next targets. Police have warned people visiting cyber cafes not to leave vital documents in a place where others can see them or even log into an online account from an insecure computer network. Otherwise, the amount in your account could be much smaller than you thought. With Nehal Kidwai, Maya Sharma in Bangalore for NDTV.